What's up guys, Polypopo here, and what we're gonna do is install the software, and I wanna show you how to install your plugins for your software that you download from the Akai site, step by step. And then I also, by the end of the video, wanna show you how to import those into your MPC, so you can walk around with your MPC live with all your, with all your plugins. All right guys, forgive me. I don't have a great camera angle right now or a setup, but I do want to get this video made for you. So first thing you do is go to akaipro.com. You can see right here, akaipro.com, same place you go to register your uh, MPC. You log into your account, go ahead and sign in. I just thought I would do this with you guys. Um, now I have an MPC X and an MPC Live and you cannot share the software because they have separate keys so you can use split screen or whatever but we're just going to do the mpc live too okay so i'm using windows on my mpc if you're using mac right here where it says downloads you're going to start from right here at the firmware any of these down arrows you want to be up do this first before you start downloading anything trust me on this okay this is going to make things a lot faster so like first right here you got firmware what you want to do is anything that says windows right here just do them in chunks okay it says firmware software right here we're just going to do the firmware this is network windows you want to download windows just click anything that says windows on it and same for down here there is so much stuff that you have to download. And if your computer's slow, it's gonna choke it up. But if you got like 16 gigs and you know your specs can handle this, just go through all of these one by one. Make sure that they're, they're clicked down. This way you can get them all done in one shot. You don't wanna do this one by one. You'll be here all day long. Just do this. Open up all the arrows, okay? And anything that says Windows, click it. You click this. Anything that says Mac, you click. All right, PC, Mac, PC, Mac. Same thing, they switch up right around here instead of PC being at the top, Mac's at the top. So be careful, it gets good. You start clicking PC, 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 and try to download it because as soon as you hit this, it's gonna pop up a little window at the bottom that's going to show that it's downloading right here at the corner or it should let's do this pc oh it's already downloaded so when you click on these what's going to happen is it's going to open up a little why didn't that do that let's do the bank the bank pc so what happens is it opens up and you open the file and once you hit OK, it's going to be in your downloads. You want to do that for all of these. You're going to hit all these downloads, every single one of them. And once they're downloaded, you'll see a little bar down here that shows all the little tabs. Just open folder just open folder and hit OK on all of them and then they'll be in your downloads once you're in your downloads let me move this out of the glare here so that's the, that's like the first biggest step right there okay just make sure that you download everything that says Windows or if you're using Mac make sure you download everything the software and the firmware okay you have to have both uh, you, you just anything that says Windows on there, just grab it. And then you'll see like F9 Instruments, Factory Content, uh, Velvet, and they're zip files, so you just click them. And it's going to say Setup. You just click on Air Music Technology Setup. Extract All. See Users, My MPC Downloads, Velvet. Boom, Extract. I already have those files there, so I'm just gonna leave them there. But I wanted to show you that. 
So now whenever you open up your MPC, the whenever you open up your MPC, those plugins aren't gonna populate just right off the bat. You have to go like you go over here and you're like, oh cool, my 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 plugins uh, or my expansion packs, where are they? And what you have to do is now that you know they're in your C downloads program files, you go up here to file. This is important, so excuse me. And what I do, I go edit preferences. And then I go to my plugins. Okay, go to your plugins, and it's on C program files already there for you. All you have to do is hit scan new, and it'll run through the whole program. Let it run until it says done. Okay, and it'll say done, and then hit okay. Once you do that, um, you'll see your expansions up there whenever you restart your MPC software, okay? So that's how you get your expansions into your software. If you need to go back and watch that again, go back and watch that again. But again, all we did was we went to the Akai site, we downloaded everything that said Windows, if you're using Windows, Mac if you're using Mac. Just make sure all these down arrows are so much stuff. I mean, that's why I say, if you click all these down arrows up, okay? It just makes it a whole lot faster whenever you start downloading everything. I tried this factory content stuff and it just puts you back to like version one point something re ridiculous. Now, if you're gonna use it in standalone mode, I wanna show you exactly how, that's a lot of Windows and Mac stuff, okay? Oh, it's like a, like a movie. All of this, my goodness, you get all that. That's literally the other half of your software, so it's, it's really dope. So do that. Once you download them, there'll be a little folder. You hit the up arrow and then hit open. You hit okay. It's gonna be in your downloads. All your stuff will be in your downloads. You go ahead and click on those, extract and hit okay and everything like that. And then all we did, we went to the MPC software and up here we hit file or edit preferences. Edit preferences and then we went to plugins C program files, rescan all, or scan new. I rescan all my first time. Okay? And that's how you do that. So, what we're going to do now is get these all in standalone mode or onto a separate hard drive so I can plug them into my MPC Live upstairs. Um, now, to get pictures, you're going to have to actually have your MPC Live plugged in so the computer can recognize the hard drive. Um, like as soon as you put the MPC in controller mode and you save these files to your MPC, the expansions are going to be there. I'm going to show you that right now. Me, I'm going to save them to an external hard drive myself, but an external hard drive, there won't be any pictures. The pictures aren't going to show up, but I will have the folders. Maybe the pictures will be there. I don't know. I know in standalone mode, if you make a folder and write expansions, they'll go in there, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do now that the expansions are there. We see them over here. We downloaded them from the site and did all that. And congratulations. Now what we need to do is go to Tools, Expansion Manager. Whoops. These are all the things that it found. Okay, it found all this stuff on my computer. This is a brand new computer. And one of the first things that I 